back to my channel. I'm about to show you the second bullet journal flip through. Um, this is the moleskin that I've been using. The first flip through that I showed you, I just had a couple pages done and now I'm in the around page 41 or 42. Um, but just note that those pages are not complete. Um, and some of them, I'm not entirely happy with the way they turned out. Um, but again, this is my first bullet journal. I'm learning. I'm learning how to um, do different doodles and fonts and things like that. I'm doing everything by hand except some washi tape that you'll see. And um, I don't know, I'm just really, really enjoying the process. So let me just start off by um, letting you know that this is um, a moleskin journal, 240 page lined um, journal that I purchased at Target and it was $19.99. So I'm gonna open this up and I didn't put anything on this little um, intro page where you put your info and you can put a reward, um, but I love, love, love the polka dots. So here, I didn't put anything here either because my next page is my index and I wanted to have two full pages for that side by side. So this is what I did to start my index. And again, I stopped at page or at pages 21 to 22, um, but I have lots more to fill in. I almost regret not creating um, two more pages after this for my index as well, but that's okay. Um, and then you guys have seen a couple of these pages before if you watch my videos. Um, this is the first um, mandala that I did, and this is my keyword for this journal, and it is matter. A lot of people choose um, their keyword or their theme word, um, something that means a lot to them, and kind of a theme going forward. And then over here on the right is my um, yearly calendar. This is a year at a glance, and I did just some cursive fonts, and at the top I did a little banner with the year. And down here, I did a little banner down here as well. And I'm also numbering the pages, as you can see. So I'm going to flip to the next page. Let me see. And this one is my half year at a glance. Since I started out um, this journal in July, I just had to go July through December. And as you can see, these are just some notable things that I can list. Um, I had a Juvederm injection, I have a back specialist appointment, <laughs> um, but these are big things for me. Um, some little trips that we're taking and things like that, my birthday, um, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to keep filling these in and um, make that more substantial and add more information as I go. So this is my July layout. I haven't really been using this as a calendaring system right now because I do use a planner for work. I use a planner for um, personal, you know, for home and things like that. So I haven't been doing that yet, but I'm contemplating using this also as my main planner for personal. Um, at the top, I just have this gold and white pineapple washi tape that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. Um, just noted the 4th of July, and this is the font that I used for July. Turning the page, this is my August, and I used some really cute green grass washi tape. Also, this is from Hobby Lobby. And this is my footer um, that says August, and I did color that in. I don't have a lot of color in this journal right now, but I am planning on adding it with some more colored journaling pens. This is my September layout. Again, I just tried a different type of font, and I just did this little border by hand as I went along. So this is a little bit more of an up close. And I use some blue washi at the top. And then we have October. And these are things that I've already shown. <clears throat> I did a little doodling up there. Nothing, I mean, it's nothing too, uh, nothing too exciting, but, um, and then I added Halloween. I don't think I had Halloween written there last time. And this is just hi, hello, washi tape, Hobby Lobby, be thankful. That's kind of the theme for November. And I used some chevron little stripes through November font and here is my December it's gold and white washi tape because for the, you know for the holidays and then down here this is how I wrote my December font and I added the holidays Christmas Christmas Eve New Year's Eve and that's that so next I'm just gonna pick this up closer I think it'll be easier for you to see this is my um July 3rd week and I just added some, some little things. Um, this is the day I got my Juvederm, if you're wondering what new lip day means. Um, gave the dog um, a bath. This is all stuff that was in there last time too, I believe. 
this is, I think this is where it starts new. My favorite TV shows of 2016. So, um, right at number one, Big Brother 18. <laughs> and that is the truth. I'm addicted. I love Big Brother. Um, and over here, these are some movies and shows that I want to watch. They're kind of on my list of things to get to. So I just have more space too. I can add additional shows and things like that. But that's how I did that. And then I'll check those off as I, as I watch them. And then next I have some goals. This is a new page. This is just a different kind of font that I did here. And this is my goals um, for July through December. Um, pay off home improvement um, debt, redesign the bedroom, purge and organize, increase our savings. Um, a little quote there. And then this is one thing that I was able to check off because we did complete our deck this summer. And the gold and white polka dot washi tape is from Hobby Lobby. Here, this is the current week that we are in. And in the corner, it says work plans to do's. And I just did some doodles and things like that. I started to add some of the weather um, down here. I added a little border, it's just something different. Um, I also added the temperatures and things like that. Um, I had a hair appointment. Um, and that's what that looks like. So I am using my weekly layouts. I'm just not using my monthly calendar layouts right now, but it is fun to add some notable things here. Here, this is, and a lot of my ideas come from Tumblr. They come from YouTube. They come from everywhere and they come from my brain. So, you know, it just depends. But here is a miscellaneous for home project savings. So it's something that I wanted to start in July and I wanted to start stocking away extra money so we can do extra projects on the house. So I tried to create a mason jar, um, but that's what it came out like. Um, and over here, a lot of people do their book books to read list with bookshelves, but I made my shelves like this instead of like a traditional bookshelf. And then I added some books there. The Secret, Spark Joy, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, The Secret, Here's to Us. So I have plenty of room to add other books for the remainder of the year. And then here, this is another layout that I did. Um, this is my vitamin tracker. And I haven't really started this yet, um, but it's something that I'm going to be using a lot. And this is really, really good for me because I can be so lazy about taking vitamins. So these are the vitamins that I typically take or I should be taking. Um, and it just kind of reminds me to either do that or replenish my stock. So I have my D3, my biotin, my 12, multi-fiber probiotic. And then down at the bottom, I did a little banner. It just says health goals. So I have all the days of the month and I'm going to do one of these for every month for the remainder of the year. Here, this is my YouTube tracker. So these are the types of videos that I typically do. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I do Dollar Tree hauls, I do vlogs. Um, I'm now starting to do the bullet journal flip throughs. Sometimes once in a while I do a recipe or a DIY, things like that, Walmart haul, Target haul. So I'm just kind of coloring in when I do something like that. And I think yesterday was the first day that I hadn't done any video whatsoever. So it's just interesting for me to keep track of just so I know how much time and energy I'm putting into it. And here, <laughs> this is my chip away list. And that's just the name I came up with. I can't think of anything better right now, but I probably will try to. Um, it's just a massive list that I wanna chip away out one little thing at a time. Um, and in the corner, I wrote a work in progress. So this isn't really decorated. This is really heavy text. Um, some of the things are more care packages to my nieces and nephews, um, attend church regularly because I'm bad about that, um, keep interior of my car clean and free of clutter, um, purge towels, like a lot of things that I want to get to. So this is just kind of like a master list. This could include work, personal, home. It can include projects. It could include anything at all. I can list this here. So I did allow for two pages of this. So I have plenty of room to add things to. But um, what I did want to say about this is I have bulleted um, every single new, um, I guess, new item. Um, just so it can be separated like that. And because it's a bullet journal. Um, backup cell phone photos, pray more, so just some things that are important to me. So I have two pages for that. And then here, some places I would like to visit. 
you know, I always think about this. It's always something I have in my mind, but I never really put it on paper. And I thought this was a really cool way to do that. And I just have some locations here that I would like to see in my lifetime. Um, I don't have locations that I've already visited. That's going to be a different layout page. Um, but these are just some ones that I have on my to see list. And over here, some things I would like to see. So not necessarily location specific, um, but yet they are. Um, but things like a lighthouse, that could be any lighthouse. I've never seen one in real life. Um, you know, there's just some different things. A white sandy beach. I've been to a lot of beaches. I've been to Cancun. I've never seen white sand in my life. Um, so this is just like kind of a wish list, things like that. And this is a material wish list. So this is kind of like, this can serve as, you know, things that I want, but also a way to reward myself if I feel like I ever deserve that. Um, I would love to have a swimming pool. Is it something we're going to do now? Absolutely not. I'd love to have a GoPro camera. I don't know. That might be something I put on my birthday list my, for next month. Um, I definitely want a foot bath. You know how you guys know every holiday, like Walmart and Target, especially come out with like these really cheap, they're always usually like 15 or $20 foot baths. And every year I just pass them right up. But I really wish I had one now to do pedicures. And now they're really expensive if you go to like Bed Bath & Beyond because it seems like they're a seasonal product for some reason. I don't know. Um, but anyways, just some really big things or they could be small things. It's just a wish list. And here, this is where I have started my gratitude. And I try to write differently too. I, I always try to like or I'm trying to change up my font so not every page and every way that I write looks the same. But, you know, these are some of the most important things in my life and things I'm really grateful for. So I wanted to keep a running list of that. And here, this is next week's layout. So instead of doing blocks for the days, I have decided to do these slash marks and divide the pages that way. So I have seven days here. I have Sunday through Saturday. And then I can write, you know, in a different direction. It just kind of make it more interesting, I guess, to me. Um, I don't know. I think it would be, you know, fun to kind of switch it up a little bit. And then here, this is a pack my lunch page. And I try to be really, really diligent. I work five days a week, Monday through Friday. And I do try to pack my lunch. This is my attempt at a brown paper bag, you know, like a brown bag lunch. But anyway, um, and I don't know why I put flowers with it, but I did and it doesn't seem to really go together But anyway, that's how I did it and um, I have a couple I have at least yesterday to color in here But I'm gonna color in the days that I bring my lunch starting July 1st and then here I wanted to keep track of paying a daily compliment. I just want to be more mindful especially, you know at work and things like that just to make sure that you know I take the time to say something nice to somebody and you know just kind of be positive and things like that so that's what this is for and again some of these things and that that concludes everything that I've done some of these things may not be what I would do in my future bullet journals um, I haven't decided. I'm just kind of playing around right now and trying different layouts and, you know, seeing what's fun and what I like and what would even serve me. Um, the vitamin tracker is something that's really um, helpful and useful to me. But again, I don't know. I mean, this is what I'm doing in this journal. I'm not sure if this is what I'll do in my next journal, if that makes sense. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, that would be awesome. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Um, my journaling pens are by EK Tools. And again, this is just a regular lined moleskin journal. So I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having a great week. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. Really, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.